Hello, Internet. It's me, Ted, from Mob Rules. So I've been thinking about you a little bit, and I have something for you. It's a little different than normal, but it comes with a bit of a problem. So I love Forge World. As you may have seen, I do quite a few reviews of Forge World. But sometimes I need something, but they have too much to offer. And what I mean is, I need a rhino. But I have a plastic rhino. I just need the resin. So it's a little bit of an issue. Before, they used to give you the resin without the plastic. And that was sometimes okay. But I keep getting Razorbacks. And I have all these Razorbacks. And I love the Razorback. And if you're going to buy a Rhino, you may as well spend a couple dollars more and get a Razorback. And then you have the Razorback. But you can't buy a Heresy Era Rhino Razorback. So, thankfully, somebody has come along in little baggies. You know what comes in little baggies? Mm, drugs. Yes, in this case, it is resin drugs. Um, so this is Blood and Skull Industries. Uh, they put out a conversion kit. It's called the Ares Conversion Kit, and it makes your regular ass rhino into a Heresy Era rhino. Um, so I'm kind of curious. There's a lot of chopping and cutting and other whatnots, but I'm down if you're down. You want to take a look? You want to see what's inside this? I do. Ha! Ah, let's do some resin lines. Hmm. All right, so here we go. One bag of resin. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of a weird product. You have to get it on eBay. It's not really a go to the website kind of a thing. Um, I think he does a little bit of blogging, but if you go to Facebook, you can kind of see some of the things that he's working on. Uh, yeah, the blood and skulls people, super cool. Like I love a lot of those things that they are working on. They don't just do like the kits. They also, the guy's a total kit basher. Um, and so he has lots of really interesting takes on some of the more traditional models. Um, so yeah, this is, this is an old, uh, what would it be? The Mark one <laughs> Rhino. Um, I, I love it, dude. Like this is in, in a lot of ways, like it's going back. It's, it's hella old school. Like he's really making this look old school. Uh, I mean, you see the exhausts They're They're really, um, <laughs> they're a little bit rough. But once you get him cleaned up, I mean, he's going in there and he's doing the interior, like the the inside of the the exhaust. I mean, you got to go and drill it out a little bit, but he's done most of the work for you. And this is the old style. Um, I mean, I think the other one, like the original plastic, had a circle of vents. Um, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I love this. Like, it's it's it. It's the, it's the original style-y. Um, so even more so than the Forge World. Uh, I mean, the doors, look at the side doors on this guy. Like it's, they're a little bit bigger than before. I think like the, the original plastics were probably like a third, or I'm sorry, two thirds of the dimension of them. Um, now one of the problems, like if you're looking at this, uh, it's not too crisp. Like it's, it's not clean at all. <laughs> you know, he's done a really good job, but um, I mean, here's like a, a rivet that's kind of deflated. Um, and the lines just aren't crisp, but you know, for a rhino, like chances are people aren't going to be picking it. This is not a showpiece, like a centerpiece model. So, uh, the details don't have to be amazing, you know? Um, so here we go. Got another one of these guys. Uh, let's see if the rivet is deflated. Uh, there's one that's looking like it's wanting to be deflated, but it's, it's still staying alive. But yeah. Decent shape, just flat on the back. I think uh, he actually leaves this out to put magnets. Like he doesn't, there aren't very good uh, descriptions on his stuff, but he does kind of go through a real quick tutorial on how to put it together. And from what I remember, there's a little bit of a magnet there. Um, and the reason being is that you can take this plate that goes on the side of the rhino. So this is gonna go, um, this is gonna go like that, right? Uh, and then you're probably gonna have these exhausts uh, like that roughly. Right. Um, so I think like one of the things is like, he also has, uh, a, the, a kit to make this into a predator. I can't remember what they calls it. Um, it might just be like the Aries predator or something like that. I, I can't remember exactly. He has like, uh, astrological signs for everything. I think there's like the Taurus, the Aries, the, I don't know. I can't remember the rest. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's that. Um, I think you do a little bit of hacking, and cutting, and then this slides onto the side of the uh, the rhino. Um, 
And then we have the front. Oh man, this is so cool. Um, this is, <laughs> it feels old school. It feels like a little bit of the, uh, the new Horace Heresy Forge World, but it's, uh, it's not quite, I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's something in between. Uh, the old and new school, old school. <laughs> um, and then the little Coppola, 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 whatever. I think he has kind of a neat, oops, ah. Uh, he has kind of a neat take on the, the Storm Bolter. Um, I mean, it's definitely his own design. Uh, and he, he shows you, like, if you look on his blogs, like, he shows you exactly, like, how he's making all this out of plastic card. Uh, but he's doing a really good job of plastic art and green stuff. Uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but you're seeing a little bit of the shine on there. There's a little, some divots. Um, it's almost as though the, the uh, you know, he didn't quite get the sanding right on the um, green stuff. So there's a little bit of imperfections. Now, I think like the thing with this is um, I got it for, I think it was like 20 bucks for the kit, for the upgrade kit. Uh, you're not going to save any money going this route, like just straight up. You're just not going to save any money. I mean, you have to buy your plastic Rhino, which is like 35 bucks. You're going to be buying your, or $33. I can't remember how much it is now. So roughly 35, you're going to be buying this kit for 20 plus your, uh, the shipping. So you have to pay on top of that. So you're looking at like $55 ish, um, for a Rhino, you know, you can get, um, you can get like, what is it? Like 40 bucks for the, uh, forge rolled variant um roughly so i mean you buy like the pack of three you know you're, you're doing pretty good um so this is not cheaper than forge world so it's not an alternative if you're looking to save some money um but for me you know i already have the rhinos so may as well spend the extra 20 bucks and uh try something a little bit different my iron hands i want them to have like a little bit different flavor to them um so you know for each one i'm gonna do i'm gonna kind of intersplace them because i think like iron hands are kind of tinkers anyway so, you know, it's going to have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, um, I'm kind of lined up some pieces here to, uh, to bust into a, a putting it together tutorial. So you can kind of get a look at like what it's going to look like when it's all said and done with. What do you think? You want to stick around and take a look at that? All right. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So um, let's see if first thing what we have to do. Um, we're, I, I clean this up a little bit, <laughs> except for all the trunk junk. Um, we have to cut all the exhaust parts off and this plate is going to slap right smack dab on top of there. Um, so I really like those things, uh, just the exhaust tops, uh, for other conversions. Um, so I'm going to try and save them, but then all this stuff has to go. So let's get our jeweler saw and hop to it. All right, let's go ahead and line this guy up. So we're gonna take this guy. Um, I already took a look at it just a moment ago, so it should be good. Um, but just so you can kind of get an idea, 
All right, glue, glue, glue. Uh, now we're gonna go in here and uh, try. Okay, so let's try and line this up a little bit. Um, just barely miss those rivets and then cover. Actually, we're just barely gonna miss that one too. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. So there it is. Heresy Royal, the, uh, the Mark One. <laughs> it feels legit. Um, I didn't glue any of the top down or any of that jazz because I want to be able to get it inside and paint it. Um, so this is flopping a little bit more than it would. But yeah, man, you see it. There it is. You got the uh, the, the sweet side doors, vintage dialy, uh, pretty big, so an actual marine could fit through there. So uh, here's Legion of the Dam, dude. Um, yeah, I think even with the new doors on the uh, the current Rhino, it'd probably be a little bit hard for a Marine to fit through. But yeah, there it is. I love the little the the, the different flavor to that. Uh, this the combi bolter. Um, it kind of looks like the what is it, the old um, Lehman Russ on the Chimera. Um, but yeah, so magnetize so you can plop it off. Actually, it didn't magnetize very well because it's not dried, done gluing. Um, but yeah, there it is. Um, once again, you know, it's, it, you're not going to save any of money doing this. Uh, the people who put it out, they do a really good job. Um, it looks like, uh, they have some issues. I mean, we have some, some bubbling right there. Uh, kind of sad about, but you know, whatever. I'll just blow it out and say it's and add rust effects to it. Uh, in the future, I'll be a little bit more cognizant about that. Maybe fill it ahead of time with some uh, green stuff. Um, so watch out, the, the kit isn't super, um, the pour isn't super quality, but it's just an extra flavor. Um, I think once this is all painted up, it's going to look amazing. So, so yeah, there it is, guys. Um, if you're interested in something a little bit different or have a whole bunch of rhinos, uh, the Ares kit from uh, 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 Blood and Skulls Industry. Look them up on Facebook or eBay. Otherwise... Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be getting some more tutorials like this, uh, checking out some other things, some other products, uh, maybe do some, 
um, green stuff techniques, whatever else. So give us a holler. Uh, make sure to subscribe um, and uh, keep them coming. All right, take care, guys. Mm-hmm.